I am Father Leonard Olobo, CSC, Director Holy Cross Family Ministries, East Africa. Uh, today I want to begin to enlighten ourselves as we prepare ourselves to begin Lent. And we are dealing or looking at Ash Wednesday. Ash Wednesday is a Christian holiday of prayer, fasting, and alms giving. It is preceded by Shrove Tuesday, also known as Fat Tuesday, and it falls on the first day of Lent. It derives its name from the placing of ashes on the foreheads of Christians, either by the words, repent and believe the gospel, or the dictum, remember that you are dust, and to dust you shall return. Ash Wednesday is one of the most popular and important holidays 
in the liturgical calendar. Lent runs from Ash Wednesday until the Mass of the Lord's Supper, exclusive on Holy Thursday. Lent come with its own spirit. The spirit of Lent brings to us the shift from ethical to Christological, and that is no accident. The purpose of Lent is to bring us to what we call compaction. Compaction is etymologically related to the verb to puncture, and it suggests the deflation of our inflated egos, a challenge to any self-deceit about the quality of our lives as followers of Jesus. And Lent, by hitting us again and again with the demands which are not only f with demands which not only we fail to obey, but which we come to recognize as being quite beyond us. The gospel passages are meant to trouble us to confront our illusions about ourselves. A statement that remember you are dust and from dust you shall return. From this perspective, Lenten penance may be more effective if we fail in our resolution than if we succeed, for its purpose is not meant to confirm us in our sense of virtue, but to bring home to us our radical need of salvation. Therefore, during Lent, Alleluia is not sung or said from the beginning of Lent until Easter Vigil. And during Lent, the altar should not be decorated with flowers, and musical instruments may be played only to give necessary support to the singing. And all liturgical celebrations should be low-key. Lent has a bit of its history. In the early Christian church, the length of Lenten celebration varied, but eventually it began six weeks, which is 42 days before Easter. This provided only 36 days of fastings, excluding Sundays. And therefore in the seventh century, four days were added before the first Sunday in the land in order to establish 40 days in imitation of Jesus Christ's fast in the desert. Therefore, as we begin this day of fasting, I invite all of us who are Christians to prepare ourselves fully, to remember that we are dust, and from dust we shall return. Let us be the ambassador of land as land begin. The appointed time is now, and the day of our salvation is now. And may God's blessings be upon each one of us as we begin this Lenten season. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Guide me, O the great Redeemer, pilgrim through his barren land. I am weak, but thou art mighty, hold me with thy powerful hand. Christo fountain with the healing stream doth flow. Let the fire and cloudy pillar lead me all my journeys through. Strong deliverer, strong deliverer, Beat my arms 
righteous fear subside Death of death and this destruction Land me safe on Canaan's side Songs of praise and song. 